Okay, so this video is going to be about all things toe pads. Um, I've tried a lot of things. I've mostly stuck with the same things, but I thought I would kind of go through those because I've tried a lot. So I have a whole bag here of all the different toe pads I've ever kind of used. I know that looks daunting and a lot, although I will say like 10 of them are pairs of these perfect fit point pads. Not 10, like four. But let's see here. So as most of you know who have followed me, you know I have pretty much always been using these perfect fit pads. They're not, what I, oh, these are not the matching ones. That's why one looks newer. They are not the first things I started with. They are the ones I found the most comfortable. And I will say this one particular pair. So this is my first pair. And, all right, well, it's not gonna autofocus today again, but, um, so these are the best. These are also like falling apart. Um, I have made multiple pairs since then and they've never turned out the same. They've never turned out right. I don't know. So I've got this pair that these kind of have too much up here and then they're, they don't feel comfortable. Um, I've got a pair here and I've got a pair in my car that I keep as like my spare emergency pair in case I forget stuff for class. So those are my favorite. These are my go-to everything. Now, when I first started Point, I was using lamb's wool. It was awful. Um, and then after that, I started with these giant gel pads. So these are huge. Um, and you can't really feel the floor with them. But I was wearing Grishka's at the time that had way too long of a vamp. I couldn't get over the box. I couldn't do anything. These at least made dancing not super painful. I then tried those again in a thinner version later on when I got my first pair of gainers that were a box, that are four box, um, I probably, I have all my shoes here behind me because I just thought it looked cool for the picture. Anyway, whenever I've tried four boxes, they're too wide. I can never, so my first pair of gainers are my absolute favorite pair. And for whatever reason, they fit well, but even trying that same combination again, didn't work. So I have never been able to get gainers to work for me again. I've tried so many combinations and I can go on and on about that, but I won't. Either way, I tried thicker toe pads to try and get the four box to work because I want to use a four box. So these are a little thinner, but they're still thick. And they just, I still feel like I can't feel the floor. I feel like they're making me um, sickle and I don't like that. Same with these. These were like, I want to say these were cheap ones off Amazon that I found and they're thinner. But they still didn't really work either. Um, something I originally used back in the beginning that I really loved and now I can't get them to work and I think it's because I'm too used to other stuff and I think they also are kind of beat up now too and I don't remember what the brand is of these so they are these these are the toe pads um, and they have this like interesting look to them I don't know is any of this in focus like here there we go okay so they look like this, um, I don't know, but I have not been able to get those to work again. Like I even was wearing them with, so when I wore those, I used doo -doo -doo -doo, makeup sponges as toe spacers with them cause it helped. Um, so I usually used like little makeup sponges between my big and second toe. And then if I wore anything else, it was like little tiny, I have so many things in here. If I used anything else, it was like these little tiny gels that could go just over a knuckle that was having pain. So I used those. Those were like, th these were amazing for a long time. I used just these. Then I got my first pair of these and I switched for good pretty much. Um, so I've never really used toe spacers other than when I used the sponges because when I made these, I don't make toe spacer spaces and I've never been fit with toe spacers. So, um, but I used these just to help because I felt like I needed it, especially in those big gainers. Um, so yeah, so I used these little jelly things. I have used these little jelly things, um, in... Um, but I've used these like in the tips of the point shoe. They're not my favorite. They squish a little too much and it moves too much. My actual favorite, and I think I have a pair of them even in the bag so you can see what they are, are these pillows. These 
are the best thing. They're like these little half moon, so you can see them in there. And I put these, I started using these in my Russians and they were great for that. And I've still used them like in my Suffolks a little bit, even in some gainers to just give that little bit of extra. If I'm sinking in my gainers, I actually can use these and it helps a little bit with the sinking. Um, and then if I'm having a lot of like big toe pain, I've tried using like these gel caps. But again, I feel like that's for extreme toe pain, like when my toenails split because I feel like I'm sickling with those. So I don't use those much either. Um, these, in theory, were great. The little brown toe cappy things. Okay, come on. Camera, what's, why are we doing this today? Guys, I really don't know why I can't autofocus today. It's having a lot of issues, but these things, there we go. Um, those I feel like cut off the circulation. They're too tight and they were like cutting off the circulation of my toes. So I did not like those. Um, I've tried multiple different ouch pouches. These had, like there's nothing to them. And then they also stuck out of my shoes. So I didn't like those. Recently I've tried the ouch pouch pros, which are a little tinier. Again, there's like nothing in them. So I feel like they were doing anything. Um, I've tried multiple different spacers. So I've tried all of these. So there's this little one, and then these. And those didn't really do much, and then I got the Russian Point ones here, which didn't really do much for me either. Oh, and I have these Russian Point ones. So I have tried a lot of spacers. I do have a space between my toes, but I just can't stand the feeling of dancing with a spacer. I can't do it. And I know like I kind of need them, but I can't, I can't do it. So I tried those. Um, these are like smaller gel caps for my toes. And these were not as bad. Oh my goodness. We're having some problems today with the autofocus. So you can see comparatively, these are much easier. I can still feel the floor in these, but I don't like those. My favorite way to pad my toes if I need it, aside from actually the toe padding that I'm using, is using Dancer Dots by Gainer Minden. Um, so these are like second skin. I've never used second skin. I've been told they're like second skin, but they're like, um, you probably won't be able to see much from here. Even if it would autofocus, you're not gonna see much. There's different size dots and you peel little papers off. And it's basically like a gel covering that you can put wherever, however you need. Um, so I will usually put it across like the tip of my big toe and then I'll wrap it to keep it from moving. And I'll either use tape, like toe tape, which I've got this. Or I will use my favorite tape is, and I have the box here, so it's this Next Care. It's this stuff. Um, and it's like waterproof, it doesn't really come off, it stays really well. That's my favorite toe tape. It's also like padded and squishy, so sometimes that's all I need. And especially if I'm having issues with like one toe, it doesn't fill up too much space, but it still gives you enough cushioning to help. Um, Recently, I have bought these Wear Moy toe pads, which I actually really like. So these are actually a really good toe pad. Um, they're kind of thin, but I can still feel the floor with them, so they're still good. So for shoes, where even there are some shoes where I can't wear these because you are supposed to mold them to each pair of shoes, although I can pretty much transfer these to any shoes and they work. Just this one pair. None of my other pairs worked. Um, but these have actually worked okay for me. I think if I taped my toes with them, because I've just been more trying them on and standing them to see how they feel than actually wearing them, I think that would make these okay. So... Um, now the other big thing and the last thing I'm going to go over is the Gainer Midden Totally Toes Kit. So I bought this um, and it comes with a lot of different options. Now it gives you ideas of how to use them and I have more used them for my gainers than anything else because I've told you I've been trying to figure out how to make them work for me. Um, I also have the Instant Wings and I bought the, um, the liners like these too. So like I bought these liners and large wings to try and fill my four box to make it fit tighter, but these just moved too much and they still, I was still sinking, this did not fix it. Um, same with trying the different sizes of the box liners, which you just slide like into the box and it'll sit like right in the box here. So I've tried those and those really didn't work for me either. Um, and then, well, I only seem to have one of these. I haven't really used the mushroom much. Um, 
I haven't really used these gel pads much either because if I was gonna use something like that, I would use the little pillows ones, but I've used them some. What I do have right now though in my Suffolks because they're a little hard on my toes. I don't know if you can see them because I already stuck them down in there, but they are the half moon part of the Gainer Totally Toes kit. And I actually just keep them in my Suffolks um, right now because right now they're a little hard on my toes even with softening them. Just like, I, have, I do have like, I'm not gonna show you, it's too hard. I do have a slightly longer middle toe um, but just slightly so it's not enough to make a huge difference So it's enough though that that kind of gives my toes the room for that one toe to kind of sit a little further down I don't know what helps but that is all the toe padding. I've tried. I tried to keep this video really short. So hopefully this helps Obviously everybody's feet are different. Everybody's toe padding is gonna work different for them. So Hopefully this helps and let me know if you have any questions about it